The Cold War, a golden age for weapons designers to unleash their creativity. And in this case, the hardly based Victor Long Range strategic bomber, one of the Royal Air Force trial of death during the Cold War, also included the Vickers Valiant and the Afro Vulcan. Like many bombers of the time, the HP 80 Victor was developed to strengthen the Royal Air Force strategic nuclear deterrent. Commissioned in 1958, it was retired from nuclear duty in 1968 due to irreparable technical problems, and the arrival of the Navy submarines launched Polaris missiles in 1969. Some victors were later modified for strategic reconnaissance using a combination of radar, cameras, and other sensors. Some were converted into tankers, and some of these victors refilled Vulcan bombers during Blackbird race during the Falklands War. What makes the HP-80 Victor famous was not because of its power, but because of its unique design. Responsible for developing the HP-80 Victor was Hartley Page, one of the aircraft manufacturing companies that pioneered the production of bombers in Britain since World War I. The highlight of the HP-80 Victor is is crescent shaped square wing, designed by Godfrey Lee, the Handley Page aerodynamicist. Basically, this design greatly reduces the drag on the two main wings, allowing it to achieve better performance. The sweep and cut of the wing decreased in three distinct steps from the road to the tip to ensure the constant critical match number across the entire wing and consequently a high cruise speed. The other parts of the aircraft, which accelerate the flow, the nose and tail, were also designed for the same critical match number, so the shape of the HP-80 had a constant critical match number on over. The profile and shaping of the crescent wing was subject to considerable fine turning and alterations throughout the early development stages, particularly to counter unfavorable pitching behavior in flight. Because of its special wing design, the HP-80 Victor's engine system is arranged close to the fuselage with the air intake, making it extremely monstrous. The nose of the HP-80 Victor also has a rather distinctive shape that makes it more like a spaceship than a strategic bomber. This design also reduces the space inside the cockpit. The aircraft's radar system is located below the cockpit next to the front landing gear system. Despite having an innovative design, to operate the HP-80 Victor still requires a crew of five with two pilots, a navigator, an electronic warfare officer, and a radar officer. At early, the pilot's position is equipped with an emergency ejection seat. Victor has a length of 114 feet 11 inch, a wingspan of 110 feet, a height of 28 feet 1.5 inch, an empty weight of 89,030 pounds, and a maximum takeoff weight of 205,000 pounds. The HP-80 Victor is powered by four Armstrong Siddeley Sapphire turbojet engines, 
with 11,050 pounds thrust edge. It has a top speed of 545 knots at 36,000 feet, a range of 5,217 nautical miles, a service ceiling of 56,000 feet. About the weapon system, an HP-80 Victor can carry nearly 16 tons of bombs of all kinds, including the Yellow Sun Free for nuclear bomb, weighing nearly 3.3 tons. Early 86 HP-80 Victors enter service with the British Air Force, which operated from 1958 until their retirement in 1993. And like many other British military aircraft, a few HP-80 Victor was also kept by the Royal Air Force for a demonstration flights. Basically, the HP-80 Victor was not at all outstanding compared to the long-range strategic bombers of the US or Soviet Union during the Cold War. But it set the stage for the development of modern bombers later. The Victor was the last of the V bombers to be retired from service on October 15, 1993, following the earlier retirement of the Valiants in 1965 and Vernkens in 1984.